My name is Luisa is Maltiel. Um, I'm from Dominican Republic. Uh, I've been living in the United States uh, about 35 years. And I started driving a cab just like an accident. Uh, but I found out uh, that I really love it because it gave me the freedom to use my time. As a mother, as a single mom, I had the opportunity to come home and watch over my children every time I want to or every time I think I needed to. I believe that driving a taxi and the way in which business is done in today's date is really appropriate for women because it gives you the opportunity to stop wherever you want to stop and go home and watch over your children or go and take them out from a school. I've been driving since, since 2006. Uh, I lost my regular job six months after September 11. And from there, I was doing real estate for a little long, like about five years. Then the market in real estate started to be really, really hard to set up. And then I decided to start doing taxi as a, as a way to making my living. I think this job is very secure. I just don't like to do it on Friday night because when people drink and get drunk, they, their personality change and they tend to be a, a little disrespectful and they try to do things that they're not allowed. And, uh, but other than that, the weekday, the city in Brooklyn, I, I feel is very safe. I believe that any job is being females or, or men. Every job is out there for you to do it when you want to do it. It's been said that doing this job is more like for men because it's really, really, uh, sometimes can be very stressful and sometimes you find people on the street that will just say the curse to you, get out of my way. and. People tend to be very rude, especially in, United, in New York City. But uh, I believe any women can do this job as, as I doing it now. I have a friend who husband owned one company in Brooklyn and she told me, Luisa, you can do this. You can do this. So I started little by little at nighttime while I in trust. And then after I thought that I was secure doing what I was doing, then I transferred to work during the daytime. My worst experience was being only one, and that was the first day that I worked Friday night. I was about to go home, and it was about like 11.45 at night time. And I pick up a call in the Staten Island, uh, no Staten Island, but in close to the last exit before you going into the bridge. And the guy had placed up the wrong address. I went to the address and I waited like for about five minutes. And when he didn't come out, I called him. I say, uh, hello, this is uh, Luisa from Uber. Um, I'm outside. He say, oh, I'm sorry. I introduced the wrong address. I'm not there any longer. Then he placed up another address. And I said, well, this is going to look like it's going to be some trouble. This guy don't even know where he is. But then I say, OK. He begged on me. He said, please come, because there's no other cars around. When I went where he was, he could not even stand on his own. He came out into my car, and then I closed the door, helped him to get in. Then he started to call me names. And I, I couldn't take it, because my father was a, a person who loved to drink, and when he was drunk, he used to be like that. So I took it, then um, he was going up to a very long distance. I was not really prepared to go that far in my last ride, but I had the responsibility to, to take him 
because I already accepted the call. The guy vomited in my car and for that not to be too much, he pulled his intimate part and urinated on the back of my car. I was able to control myself and take him to his destination. We was uh, in a hotel. I called the police on him for exposing himself. But this from, from like a thousand people, this is only one case. And that case, I, I should avoid it because you shouldn't never put somebody that drunk in your car because they're going to mess it up and uh, it's going to be a problem. That was the only worst world experience I have. But a uh, good experience, I have a thousand. I had meet very you know, famous people. I had meet writers. I have Rosy Perez. I have some of these people from La Fania, All Star. Uh, Salceros, I don't know, it, it's all the Spanish uh, famous people. And I had a um, furniture maker from the city. I also had the, uh, the close friend from the guy that initiated this Uber company. Uh, his last name is Tarson. He won a prize for 2015 um, for uh, technology. He won the technology prize uh, from 2016, the Nobel Prize for 2016. Uh -huh. The more common misconception of women driving a cab or doing any other job that is more like men type of job is that they will confuse you to be lesbian. Uh, I don't have anything against the lesbian and gay community. In fact, I respect, value, and fight for their right because I believe every human being had the right to want to be whatever they wanted to be. I respect and love everybody the way they are, but I'm not lesbian, I'm just like a regular woman, single, because I haven't found out the, the right man to be with. Um, but that's, that's one of the misconceptions that you get. And sometimes you got uh, men in here that they're talking really rough because they forgot you are women, but uh, you just, I just make my ear hard not to listen to what they say. I will say to any woman who wanted to do this, to give it a try and um, to work hard, try little by little, start on the weekend, do it first uh, like part-time until you end the trust and the, when you feel that you can do this uh, permanently, yes, go ahead and, and start doing it permanently. Stop when you want to stop, watch over your children, pick them up from school. I think it's a very, very good job for, for women to do. But uh, the only problem that women has is their husbands did not like them to do this because some other men probably are insecure and they feel like the women is probably going to get in love with another man from what the one they get into their car. And that's the only problem the women, married women, will face. Also, the men tend to be very protected of the woman, and um, they feel like the woman not going to be secure doing this type of job. They think their life will be in danger at any time. But I think it's a very good job for women, especially those women who have small children that need to stop to take them to the doctor, need to stop to pick them up from school, need to stop to prepare their lunch and stuff like that on dinner. I think it's a good job for, for women to do. This is a very masculine society. I think if the women gave the opportunity to occupy a higher position, the world will be a better place. Because we, we all women think on the best of our family and the best of our society. Women are... Uh